So guys, welcome back to the channel. And as you see in front of us here, we have the 270. I bought myself a new grease gun. So we're just gonna start greasing up the tractor. Um, as much as it's lying up, um, as it's not obviously moving, uh, it's good. The, the front end is, hasn't ever been greased properly as these front stub axles were seized when we got it. And uh, we only got it freed out uh, about, I think, last year. So there's stuff in it, but I'd rather just get the proper stuff, which is grease into the where it should be. Essentially, there's so many grease points on the tractor. Um, it's essentially, where metal meets metal is where there could be a grease nipple. Always just look around, keep your eyes peeled. It takes a few minutes, um, maybe, to find them. But you just work your way back and uh, don't go like from here to the other side. Kind of go from here and then work your way around the tractor and eventually you will get all, including ones I've only found out about, there's ones under the pedals um, for the grease, there's grease points, there's a grease point there, as you can see, at the bottom of your clutch pedal, there's a grease point there, and then there's a grease point at the far side for the brake pedal, so many people forget about them, um, the usual ones are obviously the front axle, there's obviously ones here as well, on the back end, um, she is missing a grease nipple on this side, which is a shame. I'm going to get um, get one for that. If this one's good, um, my dad told me a trick. Off a grease nipple from here, put it in there, and then grease it. So the grease nipple actually, like you know, allows grease to be pumped in here. So I'll do the same on this side, and you can take it off and put it backwards. I'd rather just have a box of brand new grease nipples along with me. Um, obviously, you'll have to clean out the threads in here with kind of like a bit of a wire brush, a very small one. Just clean it out in here. There's, there is treads there, then you just screw in the new grease nipple, grease it up, and uh, job's good. Um, so yeah guys, I'm working my way around the tractor, it's going well. Um, so as and some, some of the tips, so these stub axles, the grease will actually start coming out of the, the grease here. The grease will start pouring out, as you can see the grease started to come out there. Uh, that's perfect then. You can take the nipple off, take her off the grease, that's perfect. Uh, some places require more grease than others. Um, I think the hubs only do you only do two, two to three pumps. That's all. Um, and uh, if grease nipple is not working for you, what I had to do with this one here was actually get them off. I think eleven spanner it is. You just get eleven spanner, take them off. All any grease nipple is is a little spring on a on a on a, on a piece of. There's a little piece. There's a little on the tip of it. And that's on a spring and then on the inside there's nothing in there so you just screw him off and clean off the back of it you can put a bit of wire down there and just clean him out put him back on and they'll make all the difference and i can actually start pumping grease in there's grease now on that thankfully um but before that if it ain't going to go in don't force it because you'll just burst your um your grease gun so just a point of reference it's actually just there beside the grease grain pe grease pedal or the clutch pedal I think that only requires about one pump because as you can see it started coming out the side which is what you want to see now just to do the far side. So guys you just join me underneath the 270, I'm just using nipple there, let's clean them off so you can clearly see them. Um, it gets all the dirt away from the grease point in here, that's, when you, that's what you want. I always just kind of get a bit of a screwdriver, it doesn't even have to have a very sharp point and might do something for it. Right, um, but more than likely it should be okay. So you just get your grease gun, you pop them on, you will feel a bit of a click. I'm gonna knock these down, and then you will, yeah, then you just start the pump. So guys, as you can see there, the, the it didn't want to pump and I wasn't going to force it. So I ended up trying to take this grease nipple out and uh, cleaning it, but then after I cleaned it and then put it back in it still hadn't freed itself out so in future i am going to go i'm um, going this week to go get um a box of uh, grease nipples obviously there's different sizes but i'm going to replace a few of them on the tractor that need to be replaced and this one's included so as you can see it was all dirty there um but it was just completely seized so i'm just going to get a new one they're very cheap as well so it's well worth the change now i know this tractor isn't running well, it's just good to practice as uh, it is almost running. Everything's free in it, and that's what we want. So when you go to work on it, everything's okay, it's not seized up. 
Now you don't have to tighten it over tighten it either. It's very you rip the treads and then you then you're in shit stuff. Just kinda of pub. Stick him on. Hopefully she'll pump it out. Christ almighty. Well I don't know what's wrong with that fucking that nipple. Right, I think that's enough. That that is unreal that. You don't wanna like you don't wanna I think there's enough grease in that. I think there's actually enough grease in it that on that one. Another PP is up, uh, which with the hammer. Um can't really put these down. But these ones should be okay to get it. Or this one I should say. And I'm gonna see if my dad's hack works. Probably does. So guys, there you can see I've just removed the grease nipple and as you see there's grease inside. Um, and it's pumped it in in behind where I've actually smeared some of it on um, But uh, as you can see here, I've removed the grease nipple that was on this side to where there was no grease nipple on this side and just as you can see Doing exactly what dad said see it coming out there the side perfect and then you see so yeah guys, I've just uh, had to take off one of them arms they're, they're, they're run to the pickup pitch. They're actually seized so We'll have to do something with them. But the arms are fully free. So as you can see, I'm just lifting it with my hands. Um, obviously, if you start the tractor, you, you'd run them up. But uh, the grease has worked its way in, which is great. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video of me just greasing up the tractor. Um, uh, as my phone has gone to no storage, uh, has literally no storage left, so I won't be able to maybe film the 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 loader but we'll show you the loader at a different video if you want to see that and if you want to see more about all these videos um give, give us a like uh comment down below what you want to see um and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one guys don't forget to subscribe i'm almost at 200 subscribers so if i can get to 200 that'd be brilliant i'm only three off so and uh, we'll keep keep growing the channel simple as that right guys see you again soon bye for now